Hello, hello, one and all, and all in one, and, and, all but one, but it's okay, I can leave one out because I already said hello to one, so, anyway, moving on, very, very quickly now, we're going to discuss the Dragon Age RPG, Classes and Races, and uh, this came from a question from one of my viewers, Violetta, hello, how you doing? If this is a uh, first RPG to you and you're looking at Dragon Age, then I believe you are on the right track. It's a very simple system, uh, very uh, easy to pick up. You can play it uh, in no time at all. It's great to introduce kids to the hobby. You know, it's not a crunchy system. It won't take ages to learn. It's okay, so um, you wanted to know what all of the classes and races were in Dragon Age for set one. Well... I think I'd be doing you an injustice if I only answered your question in, in, into, you know, what is available in set one. And pretty soon the sets won't matter anyway. So that's kind of one of the problems is that they are over three books. So we've got set one's book here. I've got the player's guide and I've made some notes here. Um, and we've got the set two player's guide with the information in that. That was a separate release. And then set three I bought on PDF, but um, made a convenient printout for personal use. So what I'm going to do is read straight from the source books and tell you what we've got. And, and I'm going to tell you, because you can use any of these from level one, okay? You don't just have to be restricted to what is available in the tier one. But the reason I say that it won't matter anymore is because Green Ronin uh, are releasing, or by the time you've watched this, they may well have released the all-inclusive core rulebook. So it will contain all of the stuff in one big book and new stuff on top. And a new adventure as well, because, you know, the first adventure, the Dalish Curse, would have been the most played adventure, totally. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. So it, it would be nice if we can still get a hold of the Dalish Curse for those people that are still com coming in, you know, completely new but yeah a lot of those people will buy the core book again and that's people who were previous customers who have bought the other tiers me i don't know I'd, i definitely want to get at the first adventure and even though my group is like level 11 or whatever maybe i'd soup it up for them but anyway look i'm digressing we are moving on to this okay classes and races in the way that dragon age do it so it's not quite like other systems in that way it's uh there are limits as well to you know what you can play and that's kind of expected and normal so you know dwarves not mages obviously uh they're anti-magic types but you don't really pick a race so to speak i mean it's more background and origin that, that you pick and then if there is a distinction of the race they will have 